G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is a video on drawing the muscle structures of the human arm. Now we're using a male arm as reference because it, the, obviously the muscles show a little more on this reference that I have here. And this reference is from a photo reference pack that I've released online of male and female anatomy, which has hundreds of photos of uh, a, a male bodybuilder and a female dancer in loads of different poses with anatomy uh, and body part breakdown. Also also, if you're interested in learning more about human anatomy, I've released an ebook called Draw with Jazza Easy Anatomy. So if you're interested in either of those things, click on the link on the screen or in the description to go check out uh, on the store and see those references. So it's kind of there if you want to get really stuck into it and if this video isn't quite enough. But I'll do the best I can in this video to, to break down the process for you. So now we're going to approach this. We have four angles of this male arm and we're going to subdivide the muscle groups so it's a little easier for you to understand. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the shoulder. The shoulder is kind of the trunk of the the arm we start off here like this you can see we kind of on the side view fold into the side of the bicep uh, but the reason we start with the shoulder is because it's connected to the torso both at the neck the chest and the back so here this is the rear view of the shoulder we kind of have this round look but it connects here into the back muscles and the anatomy of the back right and here on this other view this is the front view we can see that the chest would kind of be there and the, the shoulder kind of comes in from out there. So the shoulder emerges from on the front view from connected to the chest and on the back view connected to the back. Now when drawing the construction lines, I draw the, the shoulder just as that sort of rough circle. Um, but when drawing the details, I tend to break it down into this sort of love heart shape. So the, uh, the shoulder muscle is sort of laid out if I was to really flatten it out something like this and we have it subdivided into three parts this front part is connected to the chest and this back part is connected to the back and so we can subdivide that here and show uh, those lines if there is very minimal body fat on the uh, the figure that you're drawing and their muscle is working so if their shoulder is lifting if they're lifting something up I would normally show a line either there or, or there to indicate that it's working quite hard otherwise that is the rough shape of the shoulder that you can work with so that's the shoulder muscle there and we work from there to divide it into the two parts of the upper arm or the two main parts which is the bicep and the tricep. The bicep we can refer to as the show-off muscle, which is the muscle that, as you can see in this image here, people use when they go, oh, look at my muscles, and they show off their bicep. So it's this main muscle here that kind of is at the front of the shoulder, and it's, it's a fairly simple one to draw, first of all, because we see it a lot, and it, you know we know exactly where it is, but second of all, because its shape is very simple as well. So we know that it kind of looks like this, and it folds out at the front side of the shoulder. The tricep, however, is a is a little more difficult to work out. So I'm gonna start off from the side view. Similar to how I laid out the, the shoulder in a very flat way, how I would lay out the tricep in a flat way would be something like this, right? So we've got sort of like a U shape, and it's actually two muscles, it's divided into two in the middle there, um, but when we're drawing it on the arm, it kind of folds around the back part of the arm and tucks around to the other side there and this is what the other side looks like goes into kind of the other end of the arm and it tucks in under the shoulder like that so the dividing line between those muscles is actually there but we rarely show that line because they're so interconnected there they kind of weave into each other quite strongly so uh, I kind of show it as one muscle like this and we refer to the tricep and when we talk about the tricep we are referring to that one mass and it's shaped like that but it wraps around the back of the arm now there is a gap there is a, a, a dividing uh, muscle group between the bicep and tricep on both sides. So you'll see on the outside there's an area between the bicep and tricep as well as on the inside here. But uh, we're not going to go into detail into those muscle groups because they're kind of irrelevant. They're just, they're like space that you make up by drawing the space around them, if that makes sense. So the tricep kind of goes down uh, and ends earlier than the bicep does, but we kind of connect, end up connecting it down here to the elbow. 
So that's the end of the upper arm. We have the shoulder, the bicep, and the tricep. And as three simple shapes, you can see that it's actually not that difficult to kind of learn. It's learning how the dynamics work, the compressing and the stretching, and, and how they fold into each other on different angles, which can be quite difficult. One of the muscle groups that actually is uh, quite a bit more difficult, in my opinion, to learn is the forearm muscle group. And so we're gonna divide this into two groups. Uh, so the first group we're gonna talk about is the front group, which begins between the bicep and tricep at the front. And I'm gonna divide this into two. The first looks like this. We have this one that starts off here and it goes down and it meets up at the thumb, but you can see it kind of starts off in the middle and it curves around until it's kind of on the edge, on the side of the forearm. And we have another extension muscle group here. So the front forearm muscle group starts from the outside between the bicep and the tricep. And as you can see, it's kind of poking out here and there's another thin, long uh, forearm muscle that's kind of beside it. So as you can see on uh, these two angles, that's how it looks. On this angle here, you can see that it starts out here and it ends up coming forward right there. So I tend to think of it starting between the bicep and tricep here and finishing connecting to on top of the thumb. So it wraps around the outside of the arm area. So if we have the arm twisting in the opposite direction, for example here, it doesn't show at all. Or if it does, it's like, right along there that's all we see because otherwise it's basically on the outside uh, and on the top of the forearm the other main muscle group uh, that's part of the forearm is kind of equal and opposite in a way uh, we start on the inside of the bicep and tricep but on the inside of the arm and it wraps around this forearm and meets at the pinky so it's almost like a mirrored opposite but the difference is it's also kind of uh, interconnected with tendons and with uh, veins and it's often quite obscure to actually see so usually I just indicate it with a simple line along the base of the forearm uh, along the side of where the pinky finger is so for example here it doesn't really show that much we kind of indicate it with a simple line here is where it will be shown most prominently but it actually takes up a large mass and as you can see even on this reference photo here uh, really it's mostly veins and tendons so we don't really need to learn uh, the intricacies of that muscle group we can mostly indicate it through a simple line along where that dividing area would be meeting up at the pinky area the main area of the forearm muscle group that you want to learn is this top chunky one that wraps around and this other long one that goes kind of along the length of the arm and meets up at the thumb. So that's my basic guide to drawing the muscles of the arm and I'm gonna show you in practice how I would apply drawing that from scratch. So for example, let's say I have a circle to indicate where my shoulder starts and this is the front of the torso here, so this is the chest. I'm gonna have a bent elbow. I'm gonna have the elbow there and the hand here so that's my rough construction skeleton now when i begin drawing the the meat on the bones of my construction skeleton i really start to just very roughly add chunks of where the muscles will basically be going so the general shapes of the meaty areas for example the forearm is kind of like that sort of a shape uh, almost like a drumstick and of course we have the shoulder which is sort of that upside down love heart so now that we've got some rough sort of saran wrap skin around these construction skeleton bones we can start adding some definition now how I would go about this first I'm going to go about this in a more detailed way more than I normally would just to kind of show the breakdown first of all we have this love heart shape that kind of tucks into the middle of the arm and we subdivide it into three if we want to show a little more definition and it connects to the chest. Then we have the bicep and because the arm is bent, uh, every muscle has a very specific function and the bicep is most compressed when the arm is bent. So if we want to pop the bicep out a bit, we don't do that when the arm is fully stretched out and straight because it, it just anatomically doesn't work that way. But when the arm is bent like this, it actually does pop out so we can kind of show it off there a bit. Now here where we have the forearm wrapping around, we start again in the middle, but because we have the arm bent and the hand kind of up here, we wrap the the, uh, the muscle up the top of the forearm pretty rapidly around the edge and then show that other long forearm muscle going across the top there. And then we have this bottom forearm muscle kind of vaguely showing here, but not too obnoxiously. So as you can see in the muscle breakdown, we have our bicep here. We have our tricep 
here, which ends a little earlier than the bicep ends, which is kind of halfway down the upper arm. We have our main forearm muscles here, which is the top one kind of divided into two, starting off at the middle of the bicep and tricep and wrapping around the top. And then this other long one, which is kind of next to and connected to it and ends around the thumb area. And then we have our underside uh, forearm muscle, which is a little more vague and a little uh, more of an indication through the lines. Now, if I was drawing a line work version of this, it would not be that detailed because uh, it tends to look a bit Mickey Mousey. So what I'm actually going to do is overlay white on top of it to show it at a lower opacity. And on top of that, I'm going to draw my line work just to kind of show what it would look like. So I would draw the uh, definite edges because we have the outside of the arm and there are some very clear shapes. What I tend to keep in mind when drawing things like arm muscles, especially when it's very masculine, is not to use very curvy lines, not to have like everything flow to organically, but actually work more in chunks. So have this chunk here and uh, use pretty squared edges. Uh, it tends to make things look more masculine, look a bit more ripped. And then when we're adding definition to areas, for example, the bicep, we don't want to entirely show the whole shape of the bicep. We just want to indicate the shape. So for example, here with the tricep, we just kind of indicate where those muscles kind of are divided, but we don't need to show every single area of muscles. We don't need to show the full division of the shoulder muscle. We can kind of indicate where they fold into each other and where the muscles kind of have their subdivisions. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I draw a male masculine arm. And you can see that using our simple way of dividing the muscle groups, we can make a pretty simple portrayal of that group without too much complication. We can learn how to simplify anatomy and make it uh, quite variable and usable in our own artwork. I hope this video has been useful to you, ladies and gentlemen. If you're interested in delving more into detail into both the reference files and photos of the male and female or the uh, the ebook, which goes into detail in breaking down the human body, make sure to check out the link in the description and uh, the the ebook and the reference pack. Otherwise, thank you for joining me and until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see new content every week. Check out more of my stuff by clicking the annotations over there. You can get the reference files for this tutorial by clicking the link in the description. And if you want the reference files for all the tutorials I've ever made, check out the tutorial archive. If you're looking for a great place to collaborate, explore, or share your own content, head over to newgrounds.com. That's it for now and until next time, see you later.